Well, the weather's pretty overcast today and looking at the forecast for the rest of the week that we're here, yesterday was the best day. So glad that we got out in the, in the boat then because I don't think we're going to get another opportunity to get out. So I didn't really have much of a plan today, but the doggo needs a good run because he's been stuck on a leash in the caravan park. So we're going to go for a little bit of a drive along the beach. I was, um, I was Googling yesterday things to do in Exmouth with dogs and one of them was driving from Learmonth Jetty south to Wappet Creek. So yeah. that's what we're doing. It's the coldest hand that run down this land where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound The damn smallest crowd But the hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea School holidays, it's quite busy. Found a few nice little spots, but there were people in them. Anyway, this will do us. Yeah, we're gonna put some shoes on you because apparently there's a lot of stonefish here. Yeah, some old man was living up here um, when he was a kid, and he was saying that this used to be a really good creek for mud crapping further up but it's pretty close to town and there's a lot of tracks around it so it probably gets smashed these days. I'm gonna flick a lure. Stick with me and I will guarantee You're never lost alone the crowd with me Never lost alone the crowd with me So we're gonna go now and Daddy caught two fishes Doing one, so he catches one fish, and a mother's look pretty bad at that beach. Well, you may as well just take over. Well, now. Well, that pretty much wrapped it up. We're done fishing at that little creek. I caught one little trevally. There were some big fish in there, but I just couldn't get onto one. And the mozzies were horrendous. The mo mozzies were horrendous. So these two were, well, Tiff was hiding in the car, and and Chloe was squawking on the shore, getting Not caring. So. <clears throat> We called it pretty early. Yeah, you, you get a few shells. It's the furthest sun, the gun done for love. It's a pulse and shove. It's the sharpest cry, the head goes bit wide. Now we're up and about a bit earlier this morning. We're gonna um, duck out just north of town. I think it's only 10 or 15 k's to um, a shipwreck called Mildura and it's visible only on low tide which is why we needed to leave a bit earlier this morning just to catch that low tide because at the moment it's either first thing in the morning or um, too late in the evening so ducking out there Tiff's uh, sister and brother-in-law and the little cousins are going to come have a look as well 
and I'll get the drone up and have a look at it if I'm allowed to. Yeah, and we'll go to the cafe afterwards. I just got to double check I'm allowed to get the drone up there, but I'm pretty sure I will be. Oh, I don't know. That's the communication towers up there. Yeah, I know, but I'm pretty sure it's a like a semi-restricted, like you're allowed to if you're careful or something. Anyway, we'll double check that. Wondering if thousands of miles away the sky's just as blue. It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday when I'm thinking of you. Cause when you have your morning coffee, I'm turning out the lights so I could dream. And when you smile through the screen, I wish you could be with me. So I lay my head to rest when the sun is rising. I'll start a brand new day. Yes, Tiff is spot on, unfortunately, because that um, wreck is within uh, the radius of a no fly zone around these massive uh, Navy communication towers. I don't know if you can see them there. But anyway, because it's within sort of a distance of that, I wasn't allowed to fly the drone there. That's where you gotta, that's why you gotta go, you gotta be really careful with the drone. Like it said it was okay to fly on the DJI app, but on the CASA app it said that it was a restricted zone. Well, not even restricted, it was a no-fly zone, wasn't it? Anyway, so that wreck, Mildura wreck, 1907, it's cruising back from the Kimberleys for a cattle. It was a cattle steamer. Big cyclone kicks up, it gets washed into the rocks and um, is abandoned. And then from there, uh, it was uh, bits and pieces were salvaged off of for renovations in town, I believe. Um, and after World War II or before World War II, around that period, um, it was used as a, a bombing target by the Australian Navy, I think. Anyway, pretty cool, can still see it. Gotta go out there on low tide. She's on, keep it away from the rocks. Keep going. It's coming in. Woohoo! Nice one. job. What do you got? Oh, good trevally. Bring it away from the water. Bring it away from the water. <laughs> nice <Got> work. <laughs> He's a good one. I thought I was snagged at first. Yeah. You're on again. Oh, oh did ya? Oh. No, that's all right. Oh my god. You on? Keep it away from the rocks. It's over this side. Come walk around this side. Keep it in the water. Okay. Come down here. Come walk down here. Come walk down here, don't drag the line against the rocks or it will break. The line's in the rocks. Take your time. 
Whoa, 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 look where your tip is. No, no, don't break that line or break. Come around now, come around, come around. You got it. Another trevally. All right, bring it over onto dry land. Killing it. Good job. Look, close. you got another one. Fish. <laughs> Stoked for that? Yeah. Yeah. I want to go again now. Yeah, you know, you've got it. <laughs> Tiff said to me she only likes fishing when she's catching. So that's wicked. Good job. You like fresh fish? Yumbo. Right here, so these kind of firm fish are perfect for a fish curry. So I'm going to do my korma. You'd have seen it before. I'll stick the um, I'll stick the recipe in the description below. But basically, I've got some rice on the go now. Oh, that looks like it's boiled already. So that's garlic rice again. So a couple of knobs of butter, a couple of um, garlic cloves minced in there. Fry that off for a couple of. Oh, 30 seconds or something mix some dry rice through there and then your water goes in 10 minutes cooking on low covered and then 10 minutes just sitting to steam and that gets a perfect rice a couple of knobs of butter in with uh, two onions there and I'm just going to fry that off and then I'm going to add my spices which will be two tablespoons of ginger two tablespoons of garlic two teaspoons of ground cumin, which I've, I could only get the seeds from the IGA, so I've actually had to grind it with my coffee grinder. Two teaspoons of ground coriander, one teaspoon of, of uh, turmeric, but I couldn't get turmeric, so I've used mustard powder, and salt and pepper to season. I've already diced up all that fish, so yeah, this is really quite firm flesh. The fish we caught, babe. Yep. Good job. Alrighty, once those onions are caramelised nicely, in goes the spices. I forgot to add, I've also got two teaspoons of sugar in there. Something like um, mango chutney would be better, but I don't have any. So just sort of stir this through and it's on, on high heat the whole time. Just until this is aromatic, about a minute or so. And then I'll put our protein in. Garlic and ginger going at this point too. So about two tablespoons of each. Thereabouts, a bit more there. Body. Our protein can go in now. So you've seen me do this with chicken before. Today it's going to be fish. That fish has only been in there a minute or so and now I'm going to add one cup of stock. Once that's on a boil I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. And I'm going to leave that simmering, kind of steams the fish until it's about halved in volume. And then I'm going to finish this with some cream. What's the, um, the humidity? Daddy, what happened? Are you having your yeah. camera when you're cooking? Because I'm filming it. Is it? Why is it gross? Because it. But it kind of looks like something different. It's just brown because it's got um, cream and stuff on it. I don't want cream on it. I don't want Good. cream on mm -hmm. it. Yeah, we're, we're thinking we'll 
camp here tonight. This is alright. Neren Neren. Back behind me over there is the proper rest stop. We've just sort of pulled off into the bush a little bit. And it looks alright. Just a, um, there is Dunny's, I think there's a dump point. No, we'll get the rest. Oh, we're not level? No. Okay. We'll stay connected, but we'll just get a level. Oh, there's some old cans, Tiff. Really? Fanta. Yeah, it's a bit chilly. Yeah, it is a bit cold. It's dropped a few degrees. So we left today because XE was blowing 45 degree, uh, 45 kilometer winds today. Um, same as yesterday. And yesterday we didn't get, we just didn't even get out of the van because it was just too windy, eh? Oh, well, yeah, well, we did, but it was pretty windy. Yeah, it couldn't do too much. But we were going to leave tomorrow and do one night on the way home. Hmm. So we thought we'd leave today and do two nights on the way home, but we had such a good run with Chloe and the dog. We yeah. thought, well, bugger it, we'll do one night. So we'll be home a day early, but that's all right. Yeah, they're really good in the car, aren't they? Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. So yeah, we got. I think we got about 600 Ks done today. We're only planning to do around 400. Yeah. So we'll probably just yeah bomb home tomorrow. Mm. A few people have asked about Percy and how he travels. He travels really well in the car. He's really yeah. good. This has been his first longer trip. Yeah. Altogether, he's gone really good. It's just little things. We need to work on some training. Yeah, he's not very good on the lead, but but tied up to the van, he's fine. He's happy. He lays down. He doesn't bark. He's not noisy. He's quite chilled out and easy going. Yeah. Um, and even when we go out to restaurants and pubs and stuff, he's been fine. Yeah, he's a pretty sociable dog. Yeah. He likes to have, to have a sniff of everyone and get but, a pat. Yeah, walking through town's a bit of a nightmare with him. Yeah, he walks and, us. <laughs> and, and I think we underestimated how limiting it can be having a dog. Yeah. You know, you can't just pop out for dinner. We well, can, but you've got to choose, pick and choose where you can go. Dog-friendly places and that. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get used to it. See how we go. Mm. Set up. Yeah, let's do it. Always go straight to your face. We've stayed around the same area before, but last time we stayed at Galena Bridge, so this is very close to there. Smoke always goes straight to Tiff. But it's free. Yeah, free one. Yeah. Chloe, can you come back from the fire a bit? You're a bit too close now. And no running near the fire, eh? Mm -hmm. Good girl. Wait. Ah. Wait. Little do you know that he just <laughs> lunged and ate half the wet food like a minute earlier. <laughs> nice quick dinner on the road tonight. Tiff's mum bought us some of these the other day. They're so good. They're a different one, I think. Oh, these are not the are same they, ones. Are they bacon and cheese? No, nah, these are smoked cheese Kransky. Oh, they might be good. The last ones she bought us were bacon and cheese, smoked sausages or something. But oh my god, they were so good. Tastes like something you get from a roadhouse. It was wicked. So yeah. Just those for dinner and some bread tonight. Coles or IGA. Yeah, Coles or IGA. These ones are for, from IGA. I don't know if I told you as well, we forgot to bring our fry pan. We're so unorganized at the moment. So, yep, cooking in a saucepan. It's all good. That looks pretty good. Ready? Ready? Yeah, I think so. Can you get some? Can we smash my lace? Yeah, if you finish your dinner. Um. You good? Nah. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a shocker for that, eh? Oh, oh. Why? It's embarrassing. Oh. I hope I look thinner laying down. No, you, you always look fatter laying down. Do you? Always. I always just look, look fat. my chin will be big. I don't have a bra on. Hold them in. Tuck them in. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the outtakes. <coughs> Coughing like you got COVID. Mm, yeah, no. What do you think about people dumping all the rubbish here like this? Bad. How come? Because it's like naughty, you have to throw it in like a bin. Yeah, I agree. We end up kind of bad spot because people are throwing rubbish and I don't like he can bite in. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, he can bit in. Oh, no. But ants. Oh, dear. <laughs> so we in the pool. Hey yo! Sorry, I don't know what we're gonna do here because it looks kind of boring here. <laughs> She's camera hog now, eh? I know. Have you noticed? As soon as the camera comes on, <laughs> tricks. <laughs> and now for a nine minute montage of Chloe tricks. You need a Chloe cam. A Chloe cam? Yeah. Just strap it to her. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do.